I si emo tornate can alti minisari. I immediately apologize to any Italians that actually might be watching this video. Hello my co highs hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Terena Senpai, and welcome to a, I guess, a kind of Christmassy unboxing. This is video one of two that I'm doing today. By the time this is uploaded, my Dinosauri of Reaction video for um, the making of A More Ancient Spring should now be uploaded. And yes, I have finally fixed my hair and I've had to change clothes because I just came back from cutting the grass. <laughs> anyway. If you remember, a couple months ago, I unboxed these mini swords designed by Marco Makes and Amatis Borreo. I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. Um, and of course, I did mention in that video that there was going to be a wave two featuring the Triceratops, the Gallimimus, and the Cynoceratops. And today, I got a package in the in the mail. From Mattis Borio himself. The funny this is this is a funny story, right? I was um I was outside cutting the grass, you know, admiring like the um my orange tree, the orange trees that are growing in the backyard. Um I'm sweating like a dog. I'm, I have my shirt off. I'm I'm hot as hell because I am in Florida. I'm not like up north and somewhere cold. Um and I see the mail truck pull up, and I get the package. <laughs> he just gives me like the weirdest look, and it's, it's just so hilarious. But yeah, I'll throw up some pictures of the orange trees just in case you were curious what they were like. They look really ripe. I think they're they're almost ready too. Really excited about those. But anyway, uh, I think I'm done with that little story. I just thought you guys might want to hear a little little something about my personal life before I got this out. But anyway, let's let's crack this thing open. And here they are with the Wave 2 Minisaurs, the Gallimimus, a Cynoceratops, and one sick Triceratops. These are humongous. Look at the size of these things. They feel really hefty too. And they're definitely made out of a different material than, say, the Wave 1 Minisaurs. These are all gray and stuff too. And these, these are very plainly white. But let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm going to say right up front that I did find uh, this Triceratops here. This horn that I'm pointing at right here was broken. I had to glue it back on. Thank goodness the piece was still there. And the Cynoceratops had two uh, broken horns. That one and that one right there that I also managed to glue back on. So we're Bear that in mind, um, if you do see some cracks in these, um, it's not their fault. It just happened during processing uh, and handling. So let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. Let's start off with the one that didn't really suffer all that much damage, and that is the Gallimimus. It looks pretty good. It definitely looks like the one from Jurassic Park. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera. So we can get a better light. But yes, here she is in all her glory. We can see all the individual wrinkles and the skin, all the creases. Focus on the Gallimimus. Thank you. The big, big bulging eye. The long snout. The very long ostrich-like legs. The very small arms. Very weak-looking hands. And the long curved tail. 
this is definitely the Jurassic Park, um, Jurassic World Gallimimus through and through. I really do like this model. I do see a little, little, little bitty bumps here and there, but those can be filed down very easily, and I do intend on doing that when the time comes for me to paint these things. Next up, we have the Sinoceratops. Again, it looks a little bit bumpy, especially down here at the bottom. I will have to file this, and I will have to be very careful with it because the horns that you see on the top, uh, that one and that one did break off, um, unfortunately, in transit. But I did manage to glue them back on, and it looks fine now. I mean, I'm not sure if that horn is chipped or not, but... It kind of gives it a little bit of character in a way. Th th this is um, one of the things I was kind of afraid of. Like with some of these small little spikes and horns and stuff, they might chip off in handling. This was one of my biggest fears. And unfortunately, it, my fears have been realized. But it's not that big of a deal. I did manage to glue them back on, even though now my thumb uh, is actually not glued. So my nail and my thumb are attached in a way that they shouldn't be. Uh, hopefully that does wash off with some warm water but it's a heck and chonker look at the width of this sinoceratops it is a fatty it's a fat lady yeah man but it looks so cool i love this i can't wait to paint this guy and yes a little cameo from the other uh dinosaurs that, that i have from marco makes and finally we have a sick triceratops if the camera will focus i this out of all the mini swords that i have this one definitely has the most character because it's a sick triceratops now this weird growth that we see on the horn that's actually just some excess glue i'm waiting for this to dry off so that when i it does i can just get rid of all this excess glue like because it's still very wet um it looks just like the one from jurassic park we could tell because like the osteoderms along its body it doesn't have all those nasty wrinkles and crinkles we see in jurassic park jurassic world excuse me uh we look at it head on it it oh man it's just so good also we got some more of those little little pesky little i have no idea how i'm gonna get to those because they're so like beneath the head i honestly have no idea how i'm gonna get to those um there's also some more down here uh near the crotch and over here by the feet, I'm just now noticing, I could probably take care of these. It's just going to take a lot of, um, a lot of finesse. But yeah, I'm really glad how this turned out. Um, it is a shame that its horn did break off a little bit, but that's just life in the big city for you. And I'm still quite impressed with the three models that we got. They have exquisite detail on them individual scales and wrinkles small details like the nostrils and the eyes and stuff like that these are gonna look so good when i finally paint them i also decided that i want to um put some fake terrain on these uh give it a little bit more life rather than just leave it like a, a blank uh bottom floor thing or whatever you want to call it but yeah, I'm quite excited about that. Um, we'll definitely be doing that for a live stream. All of these figures are, in fact, the same size in terms of length. In terms of height, though, they're obviously not the same size. Because if we take a look at the Gallimimus, it is much, much, much bigger than the T-Rex. These figures are not to, meant to be in scale. They are both the same length. If you put them side by side, they are in fact the same length, they're just not the same height, which is totally fine. Um, but this does really bring to the table a lot of things I really wanted from Jurassic World, like these miniatures and unpainted figures and things like that, that we have not been getting, like, ever. So I'm really excited uh, to finally be getting these things. Really, I am. And, ah, man, I just want to see more more of these mini sores i want to i'm sincerely hoping there's going to be a wave three of these right because these things sell 
people love these. I want to see more Minisaurs. I would love to see a Spinosaurus or a Brachiosaurus. Hell, even a, a Giganotosaurus would be pretty cool to have uh, for the collection. That would be really nice. I'd love to paint uh, figures like that. But yeah, these Minisaurs, I highly recommend uh, getting these. I, I give these a solid 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm, I'm not putting the shipping or anything like that into account just because that's not really their fault. That's something completely out of their control. Um, so I'm not going to just say, oh, these are bad because of the shipping uh, broke my Triceratops horn. I'm not going to be that kind of guy. So, yeah, these are great quality miniatures, and I highly suggest picking up some for yourself uh, whenever you get the chance. And here is all the mini sores I have all together. The Velociraptor, the Allosaurus, the T-Rex, the Triceratops, the Gallimimus, and the Sinoceratops all together. I gotta say, you guys, I'm looking forward to finally being able to paint these things one day. I, um, I'm still waiting to get my, uh, myself some paint and some brushes. But other than that, I'm, I'm hyped. Oh, and I should also mention that I did get these things. I'm not sure what they are. But they kind of look like Christmas ornaments. Because we got one with the Matis Borio uh, logo and the Marco Mix logo. And this one, not sure what these are. I think they're Christmas ornaments. I don't know entirely for sure, though, what their whole function is. Um, if any, if either of those two are watching this video, please let me know. Because I'm, I'm kind of lost. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, you guys, that's it for me. That's my review for Minisaurs Wave 2. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to painting these, and I hope we're going to get more than what we have right now, because I'm a spoiled little brat. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you did enjoy today's review. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyrannus Senpai signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.